your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. We are seeing some fog across portions of the area, mainly in our northern counties right now. So here's a look at our Manhattan camera. Still pretty good in terms of visibility, but we are under a dense fog advisory in Riley County as well. So be aware that you could run into some dense fog anywhere between now and probably about 9 or 10 o'clock this morning. A little bit of some patchy fog in Topeka with our central Topeka camera. Temperature sitting at 60 degrees. We do have a calm wind and that's kind of what's helping this fog to develop across portions of the area as well. So our Winds are fairly light all across the board, only at most running about five to six miles per hour. But where you have those calm winds, those are the more likely areas that we're seeing the more dense fog this morning. Now, wind speeds all throughout the day will remain very light. That's really going to be pleasant for us coming up today and tomorrow. It's going to feel really nice outside, just a bit humid at times, but those winds will be pretty calm heading into the overnight hours tonight. So we could be expecting another round of some patchy fog early tomorrow morning. Now, current temperatures low to mid 50s and some upper 50s and low 60s uh, the further south that you get. So this is where we have the thicker cloud cover and where we're seeing more of that fog. We actually have these cooler temperatures. So we're sitting at 54 degrees in Marysville, 53 in Hiawatha, 61 in Manhattan, though sitting at 60 in Topeka. Same goes for Emporia and Burlington checking in at 57 degrees right now. Later on today, warming is going to be kind of a struggle for us with all that cloud cover that we're likely to see today. Maybe some spotty showers, so we're only expecting our temperatures to make it up into the upper 60s and low 70s today, dropping back into the upper 50s tonight, and then we should be able to warm up into the middle 70s by the time we get to tomorrow, and we're going to keep on warming from there heading into the end of the week. So satellite and radar showing some clearing taking place in our northern counties, but notice those really dark gray colors creeping back in. That's some of that fog that we're watching. We also have some of these clouds moving in from the south and west and we'll continue to see that throughout the day today as we do have this little dip here in the jet stream and that's our storm system that we're watching bringing that rain mainly to uh, just to our east but we do have that chance to see some isolated showers today. Notice though over the desert southwest we're starting to see an area of high pressure building in and that's good news when you want some drier weather. We're going to see that coming into the into play heading into later on this week. So feature track starts at 7 a.m. Spotty showers possible through this afternoon. It'll be pretty hit or miss. Not every Everybody's going to get underneath one of these rain showers, but we'll call it scattered showers through late this evening. However, we will see some probably some fog redeveloping early tomorrow morning as well. And then another chance for some isolated showers through the afternoon on Wednesday too. After that, that area of high pressure starts to build in for us and we start to see mostly sunny skies Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And our winds stay fairly light through this time as well. So by the time we get to Saturday, that's going to feel pretty sticky outside with temperatures climbing up into the mid even upper 80s by this point. We'll have another chance for some scattered showers and storms coming back into the forecast Sunday and into Monday, but we do stay pretty warm during that time too. Just my luck. We go from too cool to too warm. <laughs> yeah, but you know, like it's that. the unofficial start of summer yesterday, meteorological summer today. That's so true. it's coming. We we need the warmth and man, it was really chilly over the weekend. So it was. <sighs> I'm, I'm looking forward to it, I think. I did get more plants in the ground though, but boy, they want some sunshine. Oh, I bet they're some just going to go wild dirt. this week once we start drying out. I hope so. Yeah. Well,